the only surefire way Canada's women's U17 team gets into the next round of the FIFA U17 Women's World Cup on their own without any help from other teams is by beating Ghana on Saturday in their final Group B encounter. In her young career, defender Surayeka has already faced some high-pressure situations in front of thousands of noisy fans. But Saturday's game against Group B winners Ghana will be something completely new, and according to her, it will be the biggest game of her career. Probably the biggest, I'd probably have to say, because it's like our one shot of making it to the next round of the World Cup. So we want to take it like really seriously and try and do as best as we can. Big crowds are actually really useful and helpful. They can give us energy and when we have momentum and we know that the crowd sometimes are behind us, like it gives us more excitement and we do more on the ball and hopefully it will give us energy and we just, I don't know, we just do well and just pumps us up and just get excited and do well. This will be the first experience for these Canadian players in a decisive group stage game at a World Cup. And according to head coach Bev Priestman, when the goal of these youth Canadian teams is to create tournament experts who will flourish at the senior level on the big stage, this game is an opportunity to learn. But more than that, progression would mean more learning opportunities. I think use the, the tools that we have available to, to individually grow and, and know all the little things that we are trying to, to breed in terms of you know our DNA and, and the way we want to see Canadians play in the future. Um, so for me it's grow, grow from playing T1 opposition on the world stage and all the pressures that, that come with that and performing under pressure. Um, yeah, and I think doing all of the right things off the pitch is, is massive at a tournament, um, particularly in Liberia, not so much in, in San Jose because the temperature's a lot better. It'll be an earlier start than the previous two group stage games for Canada, but the fact that we're not in Liberia anymore and at the Estadio Ricardo Saprissa in Tibas, which is on the outskirts of San Jose for Saturday's game, means it'll be about 15 degrees cooler than any of the previous games we've experienced, so much more comfortable for players and staff. 5 p.m. local kickoff means that's 7 p.m. for those of you in the Eastern Time Zone and 4 o'clock for those of you on the West Coast. Catch the game live on Sportsnet World. We'll also tweet the game in English and in French. But for now, that's it from here in San Jose. I'm Gavin Day. This is Canada Soccer TV, and I hope to talk to you before the quarterfinal.